other people and welcome to the first PC Tech Juice video in like forever and two years and you might be wondering why are you watching at the PC case not like my face like you usually do well simple answer there you go we're gonna be installing Ryzen 7 into my machine before we can do that we must remove stuff out of this case. Thumb screws. And two. Let's open her up and see what's inside. Put this away. Ah, that sounds about right. So what's currently inside this machine? Let's just go over that. But right now here is the Pride R9 380X from Sapphire, it's pretty beast and I've got a notification on my phone, so shut up I'm gonna first remove that right, that's a 380X, pretty sweet you know, we're gonna have screws, put them on the side don't need those, just yet and another notification, thanks phone I need that right now good and then we need to figure out how the heck to remove the GPU latch. It's already removed. Let's take it out. There it is. And just dust rough a bit. That's a 380X from Sapphire. It doesn't matter anyway, but let's put her over there to the side. Power connectors. What else do we need? We need to remove everything. So let's go with USB first. Front panel USB, don't need that. Front panel everything. Let's remove that. Speaker, yeah. Let's remove the U2. And is the audio right here in the corner. A bit dusty, but who cares? Everything. Let's just remove every. Why am I going out? Let's. Yeah, case fan. Come on, power connector, you can do it. Can do it. Yes, there we go. We have the power connector removed. 24 pin. And up here should be the 8 pin. Went out quite nicely. What else did I miss? Say the ports. How to remove the. Why do I have so many? And why are they so close to the hard drive cage? That's one. Freaking two. This one was already half plugged out. Always. Uh, Good sign. So the ports have been removed successfully. I'm missing something else. I'm missing one other fan. Where is it? It's down there. How am I got that out? Uh, come on. There we go. I got it out. And a lot of dust on my hands. So that should be pretty much it. In order to remove this motherboard. Yeah. All that's left to do is to screw drive it out of its screw holes. This is gonna take five million years and hopefully I don't drop any. <laughs> we could time lapse this. Do that. Come on, screw. Two. Three. I keep going. Let's just talk more about this machine while I'm unscrewing things. This currently has a Phantom 2 X4. Yep, that's a Phantom 2 X4 955 in this machine along with 4 gigs of RAM. So, I mean, in 2011 when this was built, this was like... Yeah, a long time ago when I built this machine. When I bought it, that was pretty respectable actually. Like 4 gigs of RAM was considered to be pretty normal. Why is there no screw in that? I'm missing a screw. Good! That's another good sign. And uh, that's a screw over there under the cooler, which is massive. So I don't know how I'm gonna get that out. Oh god. So yeah, when I bought this machine back in 2011, it was pretty respectable. I mean, Phantom 2. X4 was pretty competitive with, you know, all the Intel stuff. 
and uh, 4 gigs of RAM was enough. I overspec everything else. You know, like the PSU, which is way, way, way too big. It's 750. Now what? I'm gonna get my hand in and hopefully get this last screw out. Or not. Yep, it's out, it's out. There we go. So all the screws have now been released from the motherboard. And, um, hey, hey, that's pretty out. Move all this. What else am I missing? It's a fan that's. Go make things somewhere else. Go there. Here we go. Here's one motherboard that's going out. And now that we have this, this extra space. <coughs> Let's have a bit of an unboxing party. Pop this on, use a little tape, and um, first things first, motherboard. I'm gonna need that. So that's an, let's turn it around, you can see it better. That's a Gigabyte AB350M HD3, with like things like ultra durable and socket AM4, which we need for Ryzen. And just be a trip on one gen 2, that's nice, MVME, you know, VR ready, all that nice stuff. Has, well we're gonna unbox it first, see what it has. It has, and ta -dun -dun, one SATA cable, or maybe there's a two. Yeah, that's two SATA cables included, which is pretty scarce, but we have all the cables already. Here's the motherboard, we're gonna pop that away for a moment, and the accessories include... Nothing. Yeah, that's all there is. That's an IO shield, which we're gonna need. And literally three pieces of paper. Now that's the multilingual installation guide, which we definitely don't need. Uh, it's boring. And put that over there. We have what's this? Guides from 2012. That, that's legit from 2012, if you look at that, that's from 2012, so I don't know what that's doing here, but that's, uh, that's in French, whatever that is, pop that away, we have another tiniest piece of user manual for motherboard ever, look at that, that's all there is, that's the manual for the, I'm not joking, that's all there is from... That... What? So I'm installing the CPU. And yeah, what it includes. I'm not kidding. There you go, that's what it includes. I'm not making this up. Right, you see that? That's the motherboard. The driver is, which is right here. We're plugging it out. The user's manual, which apparently is this A4 piece of paper. To say the colors an IO shield. This is completely mad. And we're going to use this to sort of... Actually we're not, we're going to pop this away. We're going to unbox other stuff first. Like... Yeah! Look at that! 8 gigs of RAM! DDR4! 2666! Crucial ballistics, nothing special to even see. But I'm going to open the box anyway, just if it wants to cooperate. Come on! You're a box, you should... You should be unboxed. Haha! <laughs> there we go. That's one, that's the second clip, there we go. That's all there is to it, that's a stick of RAM in red. So, yeah, it looks pretty slick. Come on, I, do, I never know where to play this camera. You can see the specs, if you're really interested. There you go. Looks cool, might fit well with the scheme, I don't know. I'm gonna put that away. And now, for the main event. The Ryzen cooler. Cooler. CPU! It includes a cooler. I just saw it in the box, which is here. Which is why I said cooler. And we're gonna need something to open it, but we're gonna need a knife. Let's knife things up! Knife party. And you go away. Let's do this. Yeah! This is the most exciting part, look at that. AMD Ryzen 7 1700 CPU for DT 
desktop towers or something, I don't know what that means. 8 core, 16 threads, 20 megabytes of cash. That's pretty rad. 3 gigahertz base, 3.7 precision boost. Yeah. You can see it here on the side. It's teasing us through a window. And the first thing that's on the top of the box is the ginormous cooler. Which we're going to install, hopefully, in that motherboard. Pretty protective case on top, which we're going to pop off. Oh, yeah! No, 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 don't remove the bottom. That's... Oh, yeah, that's the shitty over the uh, RGB thing. But we're going to worry about that later. Stone paste ready pre-applied, so that's good. I'm going to plop this in. I'm going to worry about it later. I just want to show it off. You probably already know how it looks. But we're going to put it to the side and focus on the main attraction, which is. Here it is! And it comes. Look! It comes with a badge! That's really exciting! We're gonna open this up when we install it into the motherboard. That's probably the most reasonable thing to do. So, uh, back to the motherboard. Actually, that's one thing we haven't removed. That's one thing we forgot to remove! So now, we can install it. Alright. Let's open her up. Start with the IO shield. There's that. Let's install it. And I have to say, I'm not really, you know, I'm really clumsy when it comes to installing things like that. You're usually gonna see me do more software stuff. So, um, like I know how to build a PC, I'm just do it like once every five years, which means that I'm pretty clumsy. But I think that's in. Next step. Motherboard. What the problem is? There it is. Hey, that looks pretty sweet. You can see the ports in the back. Two USB 2s, a PS2 connector, VGA, DVI, HDMI, you know, USB 3. More USB 3, uh, the, those 3.1 Gen 2 connectors, which I have nothing of, Ethernet and just some basic, basic audio. And since the layout, you know, check it online, it's pretty standard. Uh, yeah, let's put it in. Align the thing with the thing. Actually, can if should one screw that first? I don't know! Let's line her up anyway, and see where this takes us. Let's... oh my god. Right, I think the standoffs are in slightly the wrong place, but... No worries! That's totally not something we should worry about. Because standoffs are clearly not important. Slash sarcasm. But we're gonna screw her in where she belongs. Let's see. Screw number one. Oh god, no. This is gonna be even harder than putting them out. With my shaky big hand. Oh no. This is where we jump cut. This is exactly where we jump cut. One. Don't want to over tighten it. Because only problems happen when you do that. Screw number two. No worries. Screw number three. Screw number four. And everything else, standoffs are in the wrong place. That's my mistake. Let's focus on the CPU. Take over the tab. Ah, oh, yes. Sticker, we're gonna definitely put that on the case, right underneath our Phantom 2 badge. It's gonna be like a totem pole every AMD cool processor since 2010. Right, open the case. Oh, and it's open. Take her out. Carefully. Not damage any of the one quadrillion pins. Doesn't bother, I know how many of them there are. Open her up. 
and line the triangle with the triangle and tank monstrata. Where's the triangle though? I think it's over there. Is it in? Hi, oh, yeah, it's in. There we go. It's in there. It's definitely in there and it's not gonna fall out. So, um, where's the RAM? We're gonna do a RAM next. This is really exciting. Watch here. Really exciting part where we're gonna install it in the right slot. I think because that's labeled 1, right? DDR41, yeah. The right slot, the, f the one that's further. And of course, the first thing we do is line it up in the wrong way. That's what we do. That's that's correct, right? That should be correct. And line it up wrong. Line it up right. Push down. Feel like you're breaking it. That. You heard that? That's the sound of some happy RAM in these slots. And while we're on that, let's plug moldings in. Let's put on the cooler. How are we gonna do that? Does it have that? Remove the cable. Come on, cable. Does it have the RGB header CPU fan? Haven't looked this through, but does it have the system fan? System fan. I don't think this has the RGB header for the AMD fancy thing. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. But I can always plug this in at a later point. Should be somewhere up there, but that's just system fan. I mean CPU fan. And system fan is over there. So um sorry mates, no RGB for me. And this should plug in straight there, but first I think we need to remove this. Right? This doesn't get this screws into those holes, but before we can do that, we must remove some things, which I totally expected to happen. So if I plop this off, is the back plate gonna fall off? Probably. So now I have the CPU back plate, which fell off. Not the most, not what I want to happen.